plays a huge role in the Black Lives Matter movement. But it's also important to note that artists are and always have been at the forefront of social movements. They're doing that work in ways that are both behind the scenes and sometimes highly visible. So in the case of the past few months, we've seen the role that art can play in focusing national attention, I think um, shaping discourse and really reclaiming public space. Artists have made these iconic uh, portrait images um, of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, for example. And those are a constant, very visible reminder that there are individual human lives and hopes and dreams. Um, and these are what are and remain at stake in a system of white supremacy, police brutality, and racial injustice. We have to be able to imagine something before we can manifest it, before we can work towards it. And I feel like artists are the people who are able to, to do that work for us, to imagine the future. And then it's up to all of us to participate with our own tools and expertise towards manifesting it. There's this decades-long exhibition format that's pretty famous. It's called Do It. The people who produced it, they released a free Do It Home iteration, which aimed to kind of connect folks with creative, reflective, and thought-provoking opportunities to kind of get off their screens, uh, make something, think about something, and then share it with others. We decided to join in with Northeastern. You'll see that every week we've released basically a series of prompts on the gallery's Instagram page. Later that week, we follow up with the highlights of some of our um, favorite submissions that folks have sent to us. It's exciting to be a small part of this kind of bigger whole, which I think is something that we really need to feel right now. Mm -hmm.